Hey everyone, welcome to our booth. Um, we're at Trans World, and this is Adam. Um, we got Mondo over there sweeping, cleaning up. We got Ed over there. So anyway, we thought we'd give you a little bit of a glimpse into our setup, into our booth setup. We got here, we got in yesterday, about 12. We've already done a lot of work, um, and so here's a little bit of our prop scene. We've got the scarecrow. So on this side of the booth is where we have a lot of our legend props, a lot of our standing props. Now, important, this scene isn't completely set up yet. See, we have creepy cloth in the haunted tree's mouth. So we still got to put creepy cloth on. We still got to adjust the branches. We got to adjust the hands. We got to do final, final decorating. So this is just the initial setup here. Got alien spider. got pumpkin witch she still needs her creepy cloth put on she still needs her little light we don't have the light in there yet so still a lot of work to do got our new scarecrow because this is new for 2024 we got it got it right in the middle let me get back so you can sort of see we can't wait to see everybody on Thursday. We're super excited for the show. Got Jack is back here. So our idea was to put some of the taller items, the taller monsters there in the back, like the haunted tree, scarecrow, pumpkin stalker. Then we have vampire legend up high, up on the crates. We also have the zombie legend up on the crates. So, but honestly, we brought a lot of animatronics this year. Uh, Ed went, I think, a bit overboard. <laughs> so instead of, normally we have six booths that are all together. Um, and we have nine booths this year. So we sort of have an island, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and we, then we have this side here, which is three booths all together. Um, so we have nine, nine total. So I'm gonna walk you around and show you a few of the animatronics. We don't have air yet. So you're gonna have to come to the show or check us out a little bit later. So nothing's moving. We're just getting it in place and getting the elect electrical ran to it. So I'm gonna take you around here. Start over here. So we have our mutant animatronic here in the corner. That's going to be up and moving here uh, for the show, but we don't have it moving yet. Next to it, we're going to have Frankenstein, Frankenstein's experiment. So Frankenstein's experiment, new also for 2024. Again, we have light and power already ran to it, Mike. And everybody ran the power. We still need the air, which is gonna happen tomorrow.
Okay, now we're going to go back to our scene here. We've got Mike hard at work. Hey, He's saying hey. So we have our monster legend, mutant legend. Yes, we're going to go find Ed here in a second, but everybody else, they're all hidden away, tucked away, working on different aspects of the booth. So as we walk around the booth, we'll see everybody, hopefully. We have the Wicked Witch legend. The Watcher is awesome. Thank you. Watcher's up here. We still, still need to get the get the light on for the for the watcher get the hair out of the face make sure it can be seen back there in the back so here we go around so on this side just to the left right in there we have a new product a new something that we haven't even released on the website yet and I'm going to give you a little look, but I'm going to, I think, save that to the end. So we're going to come over and see Ed. Ed, do you have anything to say to the the people? Hello, everyone. It's big. I told him that I told him we have nine booths, bigger than before. So it's. No, it's it's good. It's going good, right? right? It's just a so lot much. to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lot to do. It's okay. So we'll, <laughs> we'll let you so keep we, working. We'll let you keep working. That way they don't break. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, let him, we'll let him keep working. Thank you, Horror 365. We'll let him keep working. We'll find him. Find where they're at. So these are also new. These are saucerman and this is off the original that we that we did in the 80s um so this is like a re-release from the movie invasion of the saucerman this oh you you see the skull back there don't you we're going to go around and see that skull. That was quite the job to get it raised up. Let's also, so also new, we got the raptors. We have a little plant here. We're going to be doing a little green decorating behind it. We're going to fog this whole area. So it's going to have ground fog. Um, we have one of uh, foggy frogs. They're big ground foggers. Um, and so this whole area is going to look really cool. It's going to have netting. And so we still need to do the decorating on the scene. But this one here, this is a raptor display. So it's a static raptor, static prop. Tom Cassidy sculpted all these. So all these scales were individually sculpted, at least 75, 80% of them. These ones were done by a textured mesh net then we have the raptor animatronic it's growling and so this raptor has eight movements eight different movements um its mouth moves, its head moves, its uh, arms move, it rears up, hinges here, and then it its tail moves. Then we have raptor attack. This has the eight movements plus an X, not, a nine movements. It also lunges out, lunges out two feet. So 
That's Raptor attack. Now we're going to get back and see the big skull. There's the giant skull. It's hard to show how big it is, but we can get get a step ladder. So there's the giant skull. And it's going to be talking. It's got different audio programs. Are we going to see any of the new unannounced distortions props today? We are. We're going to actually see one or two at least. But we're not going to see them move because we don't have air. So they're animatronics. But we'll at least be able to see the sculpt. I'm going to save those to last as I make my way around this island. We have Wicked Wolf. Got Wicked Wolf here. Here we have Marsha. Hi, Marsha. My mom, actually, but hello. <laughs> She's decorating. We have Roswell Alien. We have Grumpy Gargoyle, which isn't new, but Grumpy Gargoyle and Bobo. There's Bobo. Grumpy Gargoyle and Bobo have new, brand new audio recordings. So they're interacting, um, kind of insulting each other, interacting with each other. And so we have some new audio programs for them this year. Grumpy Gargoyle has moving eyes. They kind of move back and forth, mouth moves. Then Bo Bobo moves his head and his talk talks. Okay. We got almost everybody together here, all surveying. Wow. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Okay. There we got our, our cute item for the booth, Jet Alien. So Jet Alien, this little area is going to be a video area that will show a video of how we make things, right, Ed? Yeah. This is going to... Like zany clips, funny stuff, some of the props. Uh, but, yeah. It's still be fun, except I was going to make it five, seven minutes long. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's good. That's good. It's like 45 minutes long. Nobody's going to sit at a trade show like this for 45 minutes, but it's just free buy candy while people rest. Yes. So here you, it'll be just clips, clips of distortions, monster making there. Here we have our little gore section. <laughs> we don't have tons of gore this year. Um, We've got ICU, and we've got Wretched, BCP. So as you can see right now, right now all the big stuff is in place, but we're still trying to figure out. We always have extra things, and it's like, where does it all fit? Where does it all go? Okay, now we're going to see a, another big line of animatronics. Can, this one's bagged, but can everybody know what that one is? Yo, we got clowns. You got it, creep show. Ryan Zoo, you got it. Brick Thunder, you got it. <laughs> you should have seen Mike 
and I, but Mike did most of the work trying to get little, little creep up there. But we finally got it in. It's got a, it's, it comes shipped, you know, not up all the way. So you got to lift it up, put it in place. Okay. So creep show is a fun one. This part of our booth is a lot of fun. We've got a lot of good action here. Next to creep show, we have, we have Scarewolf. Very popular character. We're excited to show this one again this year. It was new last year. Now, who can guess? Who can guess what's next to Creep or what's next to Scarewolf? Oh, shoot. I just showed it. <laughs> Alien Parasite. Again, it was new last year, but we... Now see, these, all three of these, I film a lot of the show. So come trade show time, I'll have my bigger camera out and the mic, be doing interviews, be catching scares, um, be catching interactions with the different animatronics. So this line here, Creep Show, Scarewolf, Alien Parasite, I, I think I'll be, be over here quite a bit, seeing what people think. So. so I think it's time. Let's go check out something that we haven't even released on the website yet. We have not released it yet. We're not going to show you every aspect. We're not going to show you the movement, but we're going to show you the sculpt and the character. So this, this will be a brand new release. And it's not even going to go on up on the website until it's time. I think I'm going to go show him the new item. Do you want to come? Uh, the So maybe we'll have. Do you want to take just show him the brand new item? We haven't even said the name yet. Yeah. So or, or do, are you sure? Wait, are you sure, Ed, we should show it? No. Uh, you say Mike says uh, no. He says no, don't. You don't, don't want to show it. It's not hooked up or anything. Well, now that's true. But we could show it to him, and then we'll don't show tell don't him. show the movement, but no, just no, show the sculpture. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So then something to watch. That's you can we can show it. Let's just show, show it. the sculpture. <laughs> what do you think? We are. Okay, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall. I don't want to show you too soon. Wait, oh, that one too? Not that one. I was talking about this one. Oh, okay. But we could go do that one too. We could do both. We may have two new things to show you. But we, we I'm not showing yet. I'm trying to hide it. Okay, we're just going to show the face of one of the new items. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know. Yeah, we're we're. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Dun dun dun. So this is Banshee. This is Banshee. And uh, yeah, Jordu sculpted her. So a Jordu sculpt, right? Well, and Tom helped a lot. Like yeah. Jordu was in a hurry, so he sculpted one hand, and then Tom sculpted the other. He sculpted one foot. Tom sculpted the other. And um, and Jordu helped with the uh, body form and did a beautiful job. And then Tom and Von Schron, Schron did this costume. Let me tell you, that was a lot of work. He, he worked that because we didn't want to break up. We didn't want to hide this beautiful rubber work. And so and we didn't want like a stripe across here. So so these. This lace allows you to see the whole body form and exposes the whole stuff. And this is a really 
cool thing that worked out very well. And this is Marcia's kind of her baby now. She, it's my baby. Yeah, yeah. So uh, she moves. And you'll have to see that tomorrow. Oh, yes. yes. She's not moving now. No, not tomorrow. It doesn't open tomorrow. It opens Thursday. 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 We still got one so extra day. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's that's something very special. That's our reveal for our live stream here. See, I want to show you guys. And then I'm going to... No, 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 no. We're, we're going to wait. You got to come to the trade show. But we'll do a live stream. We'll film it all. Do you want to? Well, but without it doing, okay, we got something. Now, you see Mike over there. He was, I shouldn't have pulled Ed away. I should not have pulled Ed away from the work because now, now we're distracted, aren't we? We're showing you guys the what we're doing and Ed should be back there decorating. <laughs> yeah, we're just, just too much, but no. I'm just gonna show you this is Dr. Quanta. And this is like and this is his assistant. And we'll wait to show you what it does. Yeah. But we're, this is a lot of technology. This one, this one is, I keep telling people this year, we're like too big for our bridges. This is one of the things, it's like, <laughs> it's so complicated. I don't even understand it. But anyway. <laughs> so come back. We're definitely, we'll be filming it. We'll be showing it. And of course, everybody at the, trade show will be you know doing live streams and different things so those were a couple sneak peeks which is pretty fun that's our first time we've done sneak peeks at the show live stream okay so we're gonna make we're gonna take one more loop um in case we missed anything i may ask your advice well one his hair needs to be he just came out of his bag a lot of details go into planning for a trade show i mean we had to mike had to weld up these you know we have our catalog that's another thing we have we have a new distortions catalog um it doesn't have all of our hundreds of items but it's got a lot of the items and and stuff so we have a new catalog we'll be giving away giving out at the trade show so that's what these catalog stands are for so if you're at the show come by and say hi grab a catalog stuff it in your bag so this scene, as you can see, we definitely need to, we need to arrange the hands. She's got to get her, her hand up and pointing. He looks like we got to get his arms out. All of you home haunters and, and pro haunters know, know about decorating. So this scene was, eh, it was pretty straightforward, but just fitting all of the, the items in was a little bit tough, making sure. We still have to put the prices on. So we have uh, prices that we'll be putting on, you know, so it's pretty clear for people. Oh, something else new we, we have is a new desk. So we have a new writing desk. This is where Marsha and Janine will be, primarily. Um, and the logo lights up so that this is all cut metal and that lights up. Plus, we have TV up there that will be showing different distortions logos.
quick view of the hall. As you can see, a lot of vendors are already in. Some of our neighbors setting up. A lot of vendors are in, it, but a lot of vendors are still uh, still coming in either later today or coming in tomorrow, and they've got a quicker setup. We usually get here, we usually have three days of setup. So what, how many of you are actually attending the show? If you're attending the show and are gonna come by, get in on Thursday or Friday, let us know. Can you show the dinos? Yes. So the dinos, we've got some greenery around them. That's not gonna be out here in front. That's gonna be all behind them, but we, we're just, until we get the air and get everything up, we're not gonna put the greenery and the netting back there, but that's gonna be all fogged and green. It's gonna be a jungle scene. And these raptors, I don't know if you saw the video he posted on YouTube with uh, Tom and Ed in the raptor scene. Tom grew up watching dinosaur movies, loving dinosaurs. Were, dinosaurs were kind of his first monster. So this project he mentioned was one of the most exciting projects he, he ever worked on. Because look at all those scales. Yeah, so we're not moving. Yeah, yeah. We feel good about it. And we're hoping to do another Monster Lab one of these days when we have time of Tom teaching scale work, teaching scale sculpt sculpting again, because he has a lot of experience sculpting scales. Now, what are we doing? Oh! <laughs> they swung the tail at me. They're actually, so what we're trying to do is see is when those tails start whipping around, when those tails start moving, are they going to hit anything? Are they going to hit this dinosaur? Are they going to hit the skull? Takes at least four people to figure out these tails. <laughs> Hey, cobwebs and candlesticks. Hey, David's TV. So at this point, we're kind of walking around the booth. We have a lot more work to do. A lot more work, but we're we're making some sort of final, final making sure things look all right and what we need to do now. Okay, so, well, I think I better get back to work organizing and decorating. So thanks so much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll try to do an another live stream during the show, maybe one tomorrow, too. Um, and I'll also be filming with my bigger camera some of the reactions, which will come out uh, after the trade show. We always put together a walkthrough video um, featuring a lot of the other vendors and booths, all the creativity, um, all the creativity and just talent and hard work that goes into this trade show, interviewing people. So I'm excited for that. I spend a lot of time during the trade show talking to people and filming. Um, but for now, I think we are going to say goodbye and keep on setting up. So thanks everybody for tuning in and we We'll see a lot of you uh, either tomorrow or Thursday, Friday, or the weekend whenever you get here. Take care. <laughs>